is meeting with the Queen today. Liz Truss arrived at Balmoral Castle where she will sit down with Queen Elizabeth and formally be appointed to lead the country. Truss was named the next leader of the Roman Conservative Party in a vote that was tabulated yesterday. Uh, this is not a repeated video. Look at that. That is outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson also had a meeting with the Queen at her summer home in Scotland this morning. Johnson announced his intention to step down two months ago. Earlier, Boris Johnson bid farewell to 10 down. Welcome to viewers on BBC One. We have had news from Buckingham Palace that the Queen is under medical supervision at Balmoral. The doctors had become concerned for her health and uh, she is now being uh, under the supervision of doctors at Balmoral. It is understood that she is comfortable and that immediate family members have been informed with, of course, that news that she's under medical supervision, raising concerns. Well, we are following breaking news this hour. The Queen's family has gathered by her side at Balmoral after being advised that doctors are concerned for her health. Now, in a statement, the palace says the Queen is under medical supervision. And the announcement comes a day after the 96-year-old monarch cancelled a meeting of her Privy Council and was told to rest. Keep it here on CP24 as we continue to follow this developing story. And there are developments coming out almost by the minute at this point right now. Breaking news, Buckingham Palace says Queen Elizabeth II is under medical supervision. They say her doctors are concerned for her health. ABC News reports Prince Charles and his wife Camilla are with the Queen in Balmoral, Scotland. And Prince William is reportedly en route to join them. Queen Elizabeth is 96 years old. She's recently been reducing the amount of public appearances. UK Prime Minister Liz Truss says the entire country will be deeply concerned about this news and her thoughts are with the It's interrupting its normal programs to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Has just tweeted, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening. All devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. She ascended the throne just after the Second World War. She championed the development of the Commonwealth from a small group of seven countries to a family of 56 nations spanning every continent of the world. We are now a mockist of sorrow that we learn today the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She was our queen for almost half of Canada's existence. And she had an obvious, deep, and abiding love and affection for Canadians. She served us all with strength and wisdom for 70 years. 